Hey there, it's Brittany. Welcome back. I am back with a haul video from um, Hobby Lobby. They have a huge clearance going on in their jewelry section. Um, so I saw a bunch of stuff on Facebook and I was like, oh, I haven't been in Hobby Lobby for months because of the pandemic. But I actually decided to go today. Um, I actually didn't get anything that I saw on Facebook. Um, a lot of the vintage artists and stuff was on sale and that's what I went for. But I just it didn't float my boat today. So I'll just show you. I kind of went up and down the, the aisles. I just got a bunch of different stuff. So the first thing I pulled out of the bag is this uh, Bead Design Co. Corrugated Bead Mix. Um, they're ac acrylic beads, but they're in really cool colors, like a dusty pink or dusty coral, I would say. Mauve, purple, blue, and a denim. So this will be, I'm probably, I won't, I won't ever use these together. I just don't like this color palette together, but I liked the colors individually. So if you guys are up for it, I'm going to do a bunch of sorting at the end of this video. If sorting isn't your thing, that's totally cool. <laughs> um, I also found these in the bead design aisle. Got a couple of these. They were 99 cents. Again, acrylic, but they're perfect for um, filler for gemstones. Like if you have a really nice gemstone necklace and you just don't want to use all your gemstones and you have acrylic or, or glass beads that match, these are perfect. And in 99 cents, you cannot beat that. Um, I also got these wood beads. They're like wood heishi beads. They were only $1.24. I mean, that's a lot. That's a lot of beads. And these will look great with African beads. Um, tribal beads anything really like you could you've seen my my rainbow if you have seen my rainbow um, necklace tutorial I used beads that nobody really would have taken a second look at and made them into something really cool um, and then I think this is oh no I got these from bead the bead design co aisle I've always wanted these always ever since they first stocked them but I just didn't want to pay like even when they have them for 50% off I just didn't want to pay $2.50 like every time I was like mm, okay but I would pay $1.24 for them because obviously I bought them um, I'm gonna sort these later because I wouldn't necessarily use these colors together maybe I would use the blue and the yellow together but never the yellow and the purple and there's orange in there so I'm gonna sort these later too um, I also, these actually weren't on clearance, but I hadn't seen them before. They were 50% off, so they were $1.50 for these striped round wood beads. Those are right up my alley. And then these were the only other thing that I didn't get that were on clearance, and I was shocked when I saw them. I was like, oh, I have to have them. They're gold painted wood beads. You know I love these. I use these all the time. And these look like uh, eight millimeter, I think. So I just thought that was such a fantastic deal. $2.50 for all of these beads. Um, I, I had to hold back. So because uh, I learned while I was on my spending freeze, it's been over for about a week, that I don't need everything. I don't need everything. So I passed up. I was so proud of myself. I passed up so much stuff. And I made myself choose between certain items. And it was the new Brittany. <laughs> Although I do need to go back on a spending freeze because uh, I'm closing on my house in less than a month. So um, I got these sequins um i got a pink ab they were 49 cents for a, a huge pack 24 grams these are bubble gum um i'm gonna use these for boho beads uh once i start making those and i'll sh of course show you what i'm talking about once i start making them um turquoise these are all i think five millimeter um light blue ab um blue glitter and these are not cupped like these. Um, they're flat, which are awesome. And then gunmetal glitter that are flat. So these are going to go a long, long way. And then um, I found some leather. So I thought this was a really good deal. Um, two, uh, eight feet of each color uh, for a dollar 74 so just under three meters for each color so there's a gold a burgundy rusty color and like an, a dark olive green and then I got this one in two sizes and the colors are slightly off and that could be because of um, just fading so this one's 1 1.5 millimeter they were all dollar 74 and this one's one millimeter so these will be great on bracelets and I don't don't know if I had these colors, but um, I saw Emma make something with a green leather and I was like, oh, I need some green leather. Unfortunately, this isn't as nice as the green leather Emma had, but 
it was cheap. <laughs> um, next, ooh, their timeline. Um, these were some crystals with crystal caps. These were two dollars and twenty-four cents. Thought these were really pretty. I probably like you could use these definitely as earrings uh, or a pendant. I might use one on a bracelet. I don't know. I have no idea what I'm going to use those for. <clears throat> um, just a cute little bracelet bar with hearts. It also could double as a dog bone, and it was 99 cents. I thought that was really cute. Um, cute, <clears throat> excuse me, pendant with little birds in black enamel. These reminded me of Heidi um, because I have beads from her that match these. It made me so happy. Um, and then, you know, I like some seahorses. So cute. Um, I had to refrain from buying more than one of these because it was just so beautiful. I got the nicest one. Uh, it's $3, um, marked down from $12, so that's awesome. I think everything was 75% off. I don't know what stone this is, though. It's so pretty. And I just love the gold edging. It's gorgeous. Both sides are gorgeous. My favorite colors. Um, some shell charms. $1.49. Um, some Chinese uh, writing on these coins. They were 99 cents for a strand. It's probably about nine, eight inch strand. But they're very heavy. Very nice. I wonder if anybody reads Chinese, please let me know if this says anything. It kind of looks like it's not really well done to where it would mean anything, but if you do read it, let me know. <laughs> I would hate to wear something that's derogatory or something like that. Cute little um, seahorse, rhinestone encrusted. That's so cute. Um, this was one I stood there in the aisle and old Brittany would have grabbed all of the pendants But I stood there and decided between two for like literally three full minutes I stared at them both in my hands and I ended up going with this one um, It's pretty I think I have something kind of similar to it from uh, Am not Amazon uh, <laughs> I just got an Amazon alert on my phone <laughs> made me say Amazon from Tucson um, and uh, But this one's bigger and it's It's kind of shiny, but it just looks really nice Reminds me of rock formations in the desert. Um, another set of bracelet bars, and it's so cute. Look, it's a little dog house, a little dog collar, and a little dog bone. So cute for $2. These are really cute. I actually made myself, because I picked up two different um, sets, and I was like, okay, we have to choose one, and I thought I would use the ones in this set more than the others, even though the other one was cheaper. So you can't tell, but this is a really nice, like, um, opaque green. It's ni really nice in person. Um, this looks so vintage, and just reminds me of, like a vintage antique uh, estate ring or something like that. This is really pretty. These are just really nice, like charms, connectors, or you can use them as bracelet bar connector or bra bracelet bars. Um, ooh, really pretty pendant. I just love that rhinestone cap. I have a lot of stuff like that. I just haven't used it. Oh, a cute little sea turtle for 74 cents. I couldn't pass that up. Um, <clears throat> I was surprised in that in the first aisle of Hobby Lobby, I really didn't get a lot of stuff uh, that was marked down. These were $2.99 and I will be using these. Like you could just put a clasp on this and go and that would be a fantastic bracelet but I'm oh, sorry it's tangled I'm gonna use each one of these separately as either a connector or a bracelet bar or something I thought they were really nice they more remind me of something I would have used maybe five years ago but hmm, it's okay jewelry can be timeless too um this was really cool it was wire wrapped dollar uh, twenty four just some crystals inside of a frame and if if I wanted to I could take it apart and make my own thing 
more bracelet bars that were puppy related. So dog mom, a little dog bowl, and another dog bone. These are so cute. I cannot wait to make myself bracelets using those to stack. And you could just link them together and make one big bracelet though. Um, this was the only one of these or else I would have gotten more than one. Um, it's uh, now that I'm looking at it, I think it's acrylic. Aw. Well, that's okay. It still looks real. I don't care. <laughs> um, and it's going to be for myself anyway. $1.49. It's really cute. A, like crystal point. And looks like this is the last thing. Last but not least, cute little, I have a ton of these. I don't know how I missed this before. Uh, must not have been on sale before. Um, cute little bracelet bars, with a little birdie, and then three rhinestones. So that's the haul. Um, if you're interested, stay tuned, and I'm gonna just sort a few beads real quick, and uh, I'm gonna get set for that, and we'll be right back. Okay, we're finished with the first group. Of course, there are less turquoise than there are of any other color, but I guess I'll have to get over it. <laughs> um, hang around, I'm gonna do two more mixes, and if you're not interested in the sorting, no problem, just forward to the end, um, you'll see my best friend Goldie. Okay, we finished that one. It seems like there were a lot of black and purple in this one, in moderate amounts, but it looks like we had some left, uh, less of the aqua, of course. <laughs> so, um, okay, I have one more, and then we'll be moving on to Goldie. Okay, so it always seems like the color I want the most of is the one that I get the least of. So this, these two were the least um, I got, and those were the two that I really liked the most. I really do like this color a lot, and I really like this color, which is the one I got the most of. The purple is okay. Um, the thing I did notice about this mix is it had several beads in the blue that were stuck together like this. So um, sometimes you can just, oh yeah, Sometimes you can break them apart. Sometimes you just need a, a pair of scissors to cut them apart. I know there was one set of the pink that was stuck together too. Oh, here he is. Yeah, just get your nail in there and separate them. So anyway, I thought that was just a fun little thing I could do with you guys, the separating beads out because I knew I wasn't gonna use it as a mix and now I have five different kinds of beads that I can use. Um, thank you so much for watching. Please let me know if you like the sorting videos because once I move, I'm gonna have a lot of sorting to do because um, I'm packing like a crazy person. Um, thank you so much for watching. Stay tuned for Goldie. She will probably be sleeping or giving me her cute little puppy eyes. Um, have a good rest of your weekend. Bye-bye. <laughs>goofball you and you play with your baby <laughs> he's such a good girl yeah you're a good baby